Dave Mercer. I'm Matt Pangrak. And welcome back to The Call once again, a weekly sport fishing debate show. And this week, I might get lambasted for this, Panger, but I'm saying it because I honestly believe it. Spinning rods are better for jerk baits. Keep our call. It's the most Canadian topic ever, Dave. It's the most northern topic ever. This no, is sacrilegious not. for those of the South. I mean, the last time I think I saw a, a pro using a spinning rod with a jerk bait was when KVD was throwing a rogue in Pittsburgh around bridge pilings. Mm -hmm. Name me another one. It doesn't matter that you've seen it. I'm just simply saying your rod and reel is a tool. And what we're trying to do right now with jerk baits is like hammering in a finishing nail with a sledgehammer. I mean, it works, but it's not very effective. There's so many reasons that a spinning rod is better. Number one, you can throw lighter line. Lighter line allows you to cast further, get your bait further from the boat. Also allows your bait to be have a lot more action. And you've got that zip factor on the drag when you hook up. Without a shadow of a doubt, and I know I'm going to get hammered for this because, yes, you're right. Traditionally, everybody throws them on a bait casting rod. But give me one reason, one thing that a bait casting setup does better with a jerk bait that a spinning rod won't, other than looking cool. Faster, more accurate casts. You can bring the line in. You can make another cast a lot quicker. It is easier to fish a bait caster with the rod tip down to feather a jerk bait than it is i mean have you seen look how herky jerky it is you got a jerk you got the handle out here i mean you just you look like you look like you're all out of sorts with it with a bait caster plus B bfs dave bait finesse system have you not seen the trend in high-end bait casting equipment now and how yeah. wide a line do you want to throw on this what are you throwing your your what are you fuyu kujita out there throwing your jerk baits on three pound test like, how light do you want to go? I, I can throw bait, bait cast with a jerk bait on eight pound test all day. Bait finesse system has been around for 20 years in Japan. 20 years. BFS reels have been around. Setups have been around. They're still trying to make it a thing. I mean, that's literally, it's ridiculous. There's already a tool that does it better. A spinning rod. I mean, you, yes, you can throw it on eight pound test. But you don't have to end up at the side of your boat going like this when a fish surges on a spinning rod like you do on a bait casting rod. There's just so many reasons, and I get it. It's the tradition to throw it on a casting setup. But I just think if you really stop and look at it, look at your rod and reel as a tool, you want to pick the right tool for the job. And there is no better tool for throw. I, I mean, I don't believe. I think what your case is, is a personal problem. I mean, it, you seem herky-jerky. I, I don't feel that way when I do it. You see, think you are more accurate with a casting reel? I don't know. I'm pretty accurate with a spinning reel. Why I isn't mean, Patrick Walters out there with a spinning reel? Why doesn't Mike McClellan use a spinning reel? Why didn't Kelly J ever use a spinning reel? Greg, I mean, go look back at all of the, the best jerk baiters over mm -hmm. the past two decades. And, and these guys are, this is their livelihood. Their job is to be the most efficient on the water. If they spinning rod was the deal for a jerk bait, then why are these guys not throwing it? You're naming anglers that number one started with bait casting. Uh, you, you, you know that there is that whole stereotype but if it's better, around They're going to use a spinning rod. Well, why isn't Wheeler throwing it? Why isn't Connor throwing know. it? I don't know. It's the same question I ask every time I watch it. Every time I see somebody hook up on a jerkbait fish and they're like, oh, it's gone. I'm like, why are you not throwing a spinning rod? So you're saying you don't lose as many fish on a spinning rod with a jerkbait? No bait? way. Not even close. Not even close to the number of fish. Because they, I mean, a jerkbait, you know, a lot of those fish, they swipe at it. They're not all hooked right down the gullet. A lot of them swipe at it. And you need that zip factor. You need that drag. It. it I get you're, it. I mean, Except you're acting like a bait cast and reel is a 5,600 with a push button on the side. These things have freaking really good drags now, Dave. I disagree. You have they weighted have jerk drags. baits. Yes, you have they, weighted they jerk baits now with weight transfer system. I think part of the reason was because you were throwing a Rogue and a Rapala. And what are those made out of? Balsa and light plastic with no weight transfer system. So, yes, back in the day in the stone ages where you want to live with a jerk bait, it was a lot easier to get those things out there with a spinning rod on eight pound test. But now with the weight transfer systems, with the density of the plastic, with the high quality drags, 
with the with the bends and the fast actions of the rods. I think if it was more effective, if it was better, I don't think those guys would care what they looked like. They would be throwing a spinning rod. But see, the problem is you're not answering, you're not looking at it from the thought. You're looking at it from what you've seen. I mean, at one time, people used to drive around in cars without seatbelts, and it was un unthinkable to put a seatbelt on. But then people got smart and said, hey, this is a better approach to life and extending your life. In the Stone Age. So now you're saying you living. live longer if you throw a jerk bait on a spin yes, rod? Yes, I, you do. Get, you get live longer. <laughs> of course you don't live longer. But what I'm saying is it's just a better tool. And I get it. I I, I am the sacrificial lamb this week. I am Dave, going to let me to ask you this. How, how many times have you had line twist on a bait caster with a jerk bait? None. If you're throwing this too, then everything that you're talking about with the hookup ratio, then that goes out the window if you're throwing it on braid to reduce line twist because you don't have any of that elastic stretch from the line that you get from the fluorocarbon or the monofilament that you're using at it. You're going, what, are you going braid on this too? Braid to floral. You're going braid to floral with a jerkbait on a spinning rod. All day long. And your hook to land ratio, you're claiming, is better, or is as good, if not better, than with high-end fluorocarbon and bait casting equipment. Without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, then I've why aren't guys doing it? it? Then I why aren't know. guys doing it? I don't know. I'm ahead of time, I guess. I don't know. You're I just behind the time by 20 years. You're you're in a you're in a time warp, is what you're in. Maybe, maybe. Okay, let's I've answer these listen, questions I've one to time. Tried it. It doesn't make sense to me. Okay, but just because it doesn't make sense to okay, you doesn't mean it's them. not better. Okay. You I'll said that one at a bait time. casting reels have have good drags, which I agree yes. they do. Yes, yes. Does a spinning reel or a bait casting reel have a better drag? Just answer the questions. We're in court right now. A high end spinning reel has a better drag system than a bait caster. Okay. Um, can you cast further with a spinning rod or a bait casting rod? Day in and day out under all different conditions, a spinning rod is going to give you more distance than a bait caster with less, with less issues. Well, Bela, flock them up. I think this case is clear. I mean, that that's the reasons. If you start taking it apart like that, and I get it. It's not the way most people do it. It's not the way we've got used to seeing it. should not it. answer I, those questions. Yeah, I know. It did really incriminate you. No, it didn't incriminate me. I still stand I mean, by it. I mean, it's the best in the business who throw jerk bait on the BPT in the Bassmaster Elite Series. If there's a better way to do it, if there's a better mousetrap, those guys are using it. Unless, Why aren't they using it? I, I mean, my my argument is in the proof that you see on Bass Live every week with guys feathering jerk baits on bait casters. I agree. I agree. When you if you're watching that, yes. If you're just judging it, but if you strictly look at it as a tool and you really look at what's better for that approach, a spinning rod all day long is going to catch you more fish on a jerk bait. I, I, I'm going to put it down to one thing. One thing. It's the same reason that teenagers smoke and vape peer pressure. Panger It's people like you that, that make it seem bad. And I literally use a spinning rod in the opens 95% of the time. If there's an application, I was flipping cypress trees with a spinning rod, Dave. Well, why not the bait finesse system? Be because I like a spinning rod, just not for a jerk bait. <laughs> well, it looks like we're not going to agree, but uh, let us know what you think. Bring it on. I, I know I'm calling I'm it. it. I'm calling jerk baits on spinning rods. I'm calling it. You're obvious. You're not keeping it. You're double down and keeping it. Double down, double, triple, whatever. I'm I'm all day long on a spinning rod. It works better. But I have a feeling that uh, fine viewers of our show are not going to agree with me because they fell for the same peer pressure as you. But it doesn't matter what we think. Let us know what you think. Keep our call.